Hi from Yerushalayim. I wanted to tell you uh, just a short story. There was a Misa in Shanghai when the mirror went there. Chatzko was walking one day to Yeshiva and he noticed there was a huge crowd gathered around by a certain building. And he came closer to see what was going on. And he saw a big, huge door opened up. And this little Chinese guy walked out and he had the biggest smile on his face and the whole crowd started cheering him on. And all of a sudden he motioned that the crowd should move, should spread out to the sides, out further. And the guy then started doing flips and jumps and dances and all kinds of crazy things. And Rav understood that that person just got out of prison. And the feeling that he's free and he has freedom and he has chayrus, he had such a simcha and he showed with all his body, all his joy. And for the first time he said on that Pesach he was able to show Iluhu Atzmo Yatsami Mitzrayim to understand what it feels like to leave. So I don't know if Rav Chaskel did the jumps and the flips and the, everything like that, but we should learn that the purpose of Yitzhiyah's Mitzrayim is to have that feeling of chayrus. And the Briskarov says that that's one of the hardest mitzvahs to be Makayim on Pesach, to actually have that feeling that you yourself go out of Mitzrayim. So if I could suggest one way, it was a, 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 a small child who lives downstairs from me, an Israeli boy, he told me this morning that he's going out to the street and there's a big person coming here, a big person coming to town. And he told me it's the, a melech, a melech, and he probably thought with a crown and a cape and a chariot, the melech is coming to town. And, and I caught on to what this boy is saying and then I asked him who and he said, the melech Hashem Shalom Obama. The melech, the King Obama is coming to town, coming to Israel. And he had such an excitement to see this melech. And he's going to go up to the street, and for sure Obama's going to come with his entourage just into my street in Ramadish Gol. And he's going to see him. And, and but I said to the boy that so, he has the tinted windows on his limousine. You won't even be able to see the melech. He said, no, but the melech will be able to see me. But how will he be able to? Why would he look at you? And he said, because I'm going to wave the American flag. And the American flag is what the melech wants to see. So we think when the Malchi, Melech Malchi Amlochim comes to our town on Pesach and he comes very close, on Yontif, especially on Chag Pesach, Chag HaGeulam, we should wave our flag of the Ribbona Shalom, to wave our flag to show that we're doing Torah and Mitzvahs, and that's the real Chayrus. The real Chayrus, the real freedom, is like the Mishnah of Perky Elbow says, that there's no Ben Choren, El Misha Osek a person who has control over his life, a person who has control over his his desires and his wants and his urges and his and his behavior and his character and his personality. That's a true Ben Choren. So when the little Chinese guy inside of you gets out of that prison and does his dances, make sure you're doing your dances, that you're free in the right way, in the in the Emistical way, in the Yiddish way, that you're gonna be free to serve Hashem and to do his mitzvahs and to do beautiful things with your life, they should keep going bigger and bigger and stronger and stronger and higher and higher. We should all this this Chag Ula experience a Gula of Pesach and a Gula Shlema. Amen.